Hello friends, this is Jackie and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another weekly plan with me. We are playing for the week of Monday, January 20th through the 26th in my Erin Condren planner. And this, as you might have seen from the title of the video, is a kit leftover video. Um, this kit is from Wendy Prince and I actually used this in a rewind back in 2019. And um, I wanted to use this kit in my regular EC. So I'm gonna go through the pages of things that I have left and then we'll get started. Uh, firstly, I pulled these two washies from the Pink Room Co. They're like, um, I'm sorry, I'm gonna get in frame y'all, hello. They're like a dusty kind of pink with silver foil. Um, I think I am planning on using these because I don't have washi. I use the washi in my memory planner. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So I have three full boxes. I have the date covers, a lot of cute little deco pieces, the date dots weekend banner. I have all of these little um, washi strips that are header sized. I have all the checklist boxes and the weeklies. I have a lot of the miscellaneous boxes. I have the headers and the little things quite a bit of both so I don't have the washi because like I said I used it in my memory planner but I'm hoping that I'll be able to use this and it will end up looking looking okay so we're probably going to do a day by day um, plan with me just because I won't have like a really good structure so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this washi down here. And I'm gonna layer, can we see? I can see the black through, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's really okay for me. I don't really mind. I'm gonna see if maybe I can tear this. I saw, um, I don't know her name, whoever owns, eh, it's okay. The uh, Pink Room Co. I saw her. She was just planning on her IG stories and she was just making some clean cuts with her washi card. And I'm like, maybe I could do that too. I mean, I, I bet I could with some practice, but I got the slice tool. So let's just use that. <sighs> How's everybody doing today, friends? How is everyone doing today? It is actually Tuesday. I know what is going on. Usually I film... <laughs> My plan with me is on a Sunday. Ooh, that was a good one. On like the Sunday of that week. But um, in a interesting turn of events, my mom, who had been sick for quite a while, called me yesterday and was like, hey, could we take the kids tomorrow? And I'm like, sure, why not? Go ahead. They would love that. My kids have been asking about my mom because they haven't seen her in quite in quite a long time so it worked out well so I think what I'm going to do friends because I know I'm gonna have trouble with this washi being so um, short I think I want to put the date covers here and then like start everything a little bit lower which means I am going to well I might just have to you know what I think that that might work out if I just cover, hold on, hold up, wait a minute. And I could leave the Martin Luther King Jr. Day because that is a super, super important day. So yeah, let's do just do that. Let's see if I'm gonna need to white out anything here. I don't think so. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And I have my tweezers still left over from um, whatever whatever day I used them last time. I think Sunday, which was what, just two days ago when I'm filming this. So, um, good, I got everything. <laughs> That's, there's the silver lining of not putting away your sticker uh, planning supplies, okay? And you're just, you're ready for your next video. You're ready for your next planning sesh. Just leave it all out. No, don't do that. If that's something that you don't wanna do, don't do that. I don't encourage, I don't encourage that if you don't like doing that, y'all. So let's go ahead. I'm just trying to kind of play around with this because I haven't done a leftover spread, obviously, in this week or in this planner, excuse me. So it'll just be 
fun to kind of see how everything turns out. So far, so good. This is very thin paper, friends. I am not sure if it's removable. Like my removable matte paper is pretty thin and this kind of feels like it. It's, it's soft, um, but I'm not sure. I mean, I, I suppose I could test it here in a little bit, but let's go ahead and get these date dots. So I, I don't have much to, to tell you since we last chatted. Um, I know last time I was kind of like all over the place and I apologize because if that was irritating to you, I'm so sorry. That's cute so far. Let's go ahead and do the bottom washi down here. Um, I didn't, you know, intentionally mean to do that, but I was, whenever my kids are home and, you know, my husband is watching them, he is a great parent. He is a great, like, he he's not a babysitter, you know? So when I say when he watches them, I mean like, when they're spending time with him by just by themselves, I always feel guilty. And I know that I shouldn't because I am with them all day long, right? But I just, when he's home, I wanna spend time with him, all four of us together and not be cleaning and not be working in the shop. And you, you know, like I just, I want to, you know, have the four of us spend time together. So I know that on Sunday I was kind of rushing because I um I wanted to get another plan, uh, video filmed, which was my reading bullet journal that went live this morning. So I like the days when my kids aren't here when I film, just because I feel like I can take a little bit more time and actually, you know, not just for laying down stickers, not feeling rushed with that, but then not feeling rushed when I'm chatting with all of you. So... Very good. I think I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, thinner washi along the top again to take up space and just for a little bit something different, you know. I don't use a lot of washi in my spreads, but I want to. I have been um, purchasing some washi here and there. Uh, I think I talked about that a while ago. So I've been purchasing some washi here and there, and then I just, I, I've i purchased in the past, not, you know, obviously not currently, and so I have a lot in my stash that I like to, you know, friends, it's that planner thing we are, most of us planner people are guilty of. I was going to say all, but that's not necessarily true. You buy it, and you just look at it, and you're like, oh, that's so, I just, I love looking at I get it. I've been there, friends. I, I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down, but I'm trying to use what I have and not feel, you know, not feel bad about using my mustache. And I just, I want to be able to use it. So let's go ahead and work on this sidebar. I'm going to, if I have the headers, I am going to use the headers in the sidebar. If I don't, then that's not a big deal. So I do have a dinner's header. So that will go here. I'll use washi strips if I don't have the header that I need. Um, let's see. And then I think I typically do my trackers and I saw one tracker here. And I don't think that there's another one. I think there was only one in the kit. So I'm going to need to pull from my functional binder. All right, I pulled another one from that Dominion Paper Co. Um, sheet that I've been using to mark, um, marking in my bullet journal. And then I think I'm trying to track like just did I have a good, normal, happy, productive day? I'm trying to track that and I'm trying to look at that and then the notes in my phone for my memory planner and seeing what happened that day if I didn't have a good day, what I could change, just be a little more introspective. And if I did have a good day, how can I recreate that? What about my behavior can I recreate to continue having good days? 
You know, obviously we're only on Tuesday when I'm filming this, but it's been a fabulous week. Yesterday was really good. And I had told you all on Sunday, um, of my last plan with me, the doe a deer one that I'm just, I'm trying to put out good vibes, you know, with my kids and, and all of that. So, and it's been going good. So I have a work header and I am going to use, I have been using half boxes to mark stuff with the shop, which I think will work nicely. I want to use one of these cute little cat ones. I have three left. And I think this week, y'all, I'm probably, oh, let's put a strip of washi between that. This week, y'all, I'm probably going to leave the January just so I don't have to use one of my um, three full boxes on uh, that part because I only have three. So I'm going to need them throughout the week. And that's okay. The January, I feel like the colors um, go well with the kit, that, you know, cream kind of color. So I'm fine with it hanging out up there. I know some people don't really like it. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I think I said that when I first started using this planner, but like it's not, it's not terrible. You know what I mean? Like it, it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get all up in arms about it or anything. So, all right, let's see what could I put there. Maybe just a couple strips of this pattern washi. Like the flowers could, if I stack them, that might look kind of like a um, washi strip, like a full box washi kind of situation. Let's just use these two and put, I could do three, but that might cut into the J. So I think I'm just going to leave it like that. That looks cute. Oh, you know what I could do? I could use some of this. Oh, it's going to cut into the J though. Is that going to bother me? What do we think? Does it look better with or without washi? I think I'm going to put it up there. Let's just go for it. Let's go for it, y'all. There's no rules in planning. Hello, you can do what you want. So I picked this kit because obviously it has cats on it. Um, and it, it's, it seemed wintry to me. In the, some of the other full boxes... There, like, there's some a uh, cat on some books. There was a girl, I think, reading, um, the, planning. I feel like it was it was wintry kind of vibe to me. So we're gonna be going day by day, friends. So let's start off with a to do header. This week coming up, it's so far in the future that I just I really don't know what it's gonna end up being like. Um. I do have some some plans here and there, but, you know, not a ton at this point. So there might be some empty spaces within the planner, and that's totally fine. And I am going to really utilize the washi to take up space and break apart my sections. So get, in, get ready for a long haul video, friends, because when I plan like this, I really do like how it ends up looking. But it's not just slapping down some stickers, you know what I'm saying? Like, I gotta, I gotta think through it, y'all. Hopefully, I will have enough memory on my old iPad that we'll get through it. Okay, so on Monday, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, Joe is off. So I want to mark that. And I have a, actually from Wendy Prince, a silver script... Uh, day off sticker that I want to pull. Let's see. Now, I had these organized friends. Let's see if I can find it. And yes, right there. So let's go ahead and pull this. Wendy Prince was in a recent um, TPC sale. I think she has her own website. I will link it, of course. And I think I'm going to put it on a strip of washi. Let's just use this one here. So Joe is off this day, um, which is wonderful. And, you know, I know my kids will enjoy having him off. I know that's not straight. And sometimes, let's see if I'll be able to get this foiled sticker off. Sometimes it bothers me. And I'm trying not to let it bother me. In the oh, <gasps> friends, did you see what I just did? All right, let's do some sticker surgery. Let's not lose our giblets over here, okay? 
We can salvage it. I'm sure we can. I have confidence in us. Is that okay? Does that look okay? Yeah, it looks fine. It looks fine. All right, so there is no story time on Monday. The, um, the library is closed, obviously, but I do want to try and film that day. Um, so I'm going to use a couple of these little things. I'm going to stack these two together in the today section. And actually, you know what? Let's turn it this way. And I'm going to use... I know that's not straight, friends, so let's, let's straighten it up. I'm going to use a foiled play button and put them over the TVs from Jen over at Craft Penguin Planner. All right, friends, so I have this one from Jen, but it's not going to cover exactly, so I'm going to try and cover as much of the TVs as I can. That looks good. The foil shows through more than the TVs do, because I want to film two videos on Monday, probably rewinds, so we'll see. We'll see if I can get that done. Another thing, let's go ahead and... I want to start marking our um, activities with Kate for school. So let's see, where is my... Hello, where'd you go? Right here. I want to mark school with Kate and I want to mark the different activities that I want to do with her. My parents gifted us a whiteboard, which if you follow me on the store on my Insta stories, I've posted a few videos of Kate working on the whiteboard. And I have a couple of things that I want to work with her that, you know, this upcoming weekend. So I'm going to use a quarter box for that activity. And then I pulled my character stickers binder and I have some stickers that Joe drew for me years ago like the summer after we um, opened I have a Kate sampler I believe still up at the shop so I want to put the activity I want to work on with Kate and then I think I might slice this full box into maybe two full boxes or like a smaller it's pretty thin paper so I shouldn't have to do too much just put that cat down there cute I like how that looks I think I'm gonna move this little box down just a titch and it looks like this is removable mat friends that's what it it came up as it was it's a little tacky but um not bad, not bad. So that is Monday, looks good. Let's go ahead and let's use the other half of that up here to take up some space. And this is where things are just gonna get kind of, I don't know, I don't know how it's going to go. Tuesday, we're back to the normal grind. Joe will be back at work. And Tuesdays, we typically don't have much going on. But because Joe is off on Monday, I might move our grocery day over. Ooh, that was not a good cut, friends. I'm gonna have to get my tweezers to help me get that washi up. Ooh, we might have to redo that. Let's hope I salvaged it. Woo hoo hoo! Can you see that? A little tiny bit. There we go. So I might move my grocery day over to. Tuesday so that we don't have to go when Joe is is home. So let's see. Do I want to use a my to-do list next? Um, maybe. Let's put to-do down, but let's go ahead and let's put a box for groceries. And do I want to I don't think I want to use I want to save that the other um, half boxes. Let's use one of these really pretty squared off labels for grocery shopping. All right, friends, I'm back. I went ahead and I found my Miss Berry shopping. I put my um, to-do list down. And then I don't think I have anything else on Tuesday that I can think of. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna hold off these other two um, full boxes, but I am going to white out down here just this little section. Uh, just these dots 
just in case I end up like putting a character down and writing on the white space, I don't want to have to worry about the lines. Okay. Wednesday, we have story time and library. Story time and library. Oh, sweet mercy. We have story time at the library because um, there wasn't any on Monday. They have a Monday and Wednesday story time at the library that we go to on Mondays, but usually it's the one on Wednesday is kind of the same as the one on Monday. But because we're not going on Monday, we're going to go on Wednesday. So that will be good. Um, I think we also have gymnastics. So I want to mark that. So how do I want to do this? Do I want to start with... Let's start with a quarter box at the top. We'll start with this gray one. Here. For story time. And then, let's see. Um, I'll put my to-do list at the bottom just for a little change up. I thought of a few things while I was doing this that I could add in. Add in a to-do, or excuse me, a today header here. And then my to-do down here. And I'm going to move this and put my today header up first. Actually, let's use a rem reminder. And then we'll put this box back down for story time. And so let's see where should we put, we'll put our washi here. And let's see, I think this is looking good, friends. Do y'all, what do you think? Y'all think it's looking good? I hope so. I hope you're enjoying this. I'm planning on doing a couple weeks, you know, around TPC of stuff from my shop so you can kind of see what it looks like here. And then some other weeks of kit leftovers and other shops. Because I don't want my leftovers just to sit in my album. You know, like I want to actually use them. So that's what we're going to be doing. All right. Um, Wednesday, let's go ahead and let's put down a another one of these boxes for Kate's school. And I'll put it right here. A little bit away from this one, just because they are the same you know, shape and everything. Actually, you know what? I think I want to put a box first for Jim and then we'll do, we'll use this cute little scalloped guy and then we'll do this for Kate's school. And let's separate it so we don't have just a bunch of boxes stacked on top of each other. So last week, friends, I talked to you about working on my office. And I, while I was editing that video, I was just cringing because I stopped and started talking about my office so many times that I'm sure you were all like, oh my gosh, could she be any more long-winded and any more nonsensical? The answer to that is probably... It's probably, I could, I could friends, I could be, but I'm not going to. But I thought I would talk to you a little bit more about what I want to do with the office. Today the plan is, was, before you know everything kind of got, I'm not going to say uh, changed, I'm not going to say messed up, but changed with the, um, with my parents, was I was going to clean out the closet in my office, all right? And what I want to do with that, another Miss Berry on transparent sticker paper, and I'm going to use a silver heart from Jen to mark school, just to change it up a little bit. Um, what I want to do is clean out the office. That was the plan to, that I was going to do today. I actually even brought up a Rubbermaid tub from my basement because I have a shelf in the closet. I don't have anything in the closet except there's a shelf with like a lot of my old teaching supplies. And... Um, second half of the week. Let's go. So I need to clean up that closet. It will be fine. It's not going to be a big deal. I'm planning on storing all of my teaching supply because, because as a lot of you know, I am a former teacher and I say that, but I think that I always will be a teacher. I don't think that there will ever be a time that I don't 
think about going back into the classroom. I do have every intention someday of going back and teaching. I don't know when that's going to be. I don't have a timetable for that, but I do have every intention of going back at some point. That's teaching has been something that has always been a big part of my life and it's, it's it's something that gave me a lot of joy for a very long time up until you know I had kids and even after I had kids it's not that I stopped enjoying teaching I think that it was more of my heart wanted to be with my kids more than teaching other people's kids. And that's kind of what's led me to where I am today. Um, my In Michigan, your license is active for five years at a time. And every five years, you have to have X amount of credits. I believe it's six in the state of Michigan. Um to renew your license. My license I renewed the summer that I had Jason. And so that was 2018. When he goes to kindergarten, it will be 2023 which, when he's five. And that's when my license expires in Michigan. Okay, so I would, if I went back to the classroom when he went back to school, then um, I would need to have that I would need to take the time to get the credits to um, to renew my license and get back into the classroom. I don't know if I'll do that when he goes to kindergarten, but that is the tentative plan um, if I were to give you a time frame. Now, obviously, lots of things can change. Right now, my shop is providing me with uh, income that has replaced um, what I'm not getting because I'm not teaching anymore. Um, so that has been a big blessing that I've been able to, you know, have this, what started as a hobby. And I think a lot of shop owners perhaps started their shop as a hobby. Um, and then now for me, it is my business and I'm trying to treat it as such. I'm getting back to the office, friends. It's going to circle back, I promise. So I, I, Started my shop as a hobby, making stickers for myself, and just, I threw them up on Etsy because it was free to do it, and, you know, I didn't have to pay for a domain, and, and blah, blah, blah. So I started my shop, and then, as a lot of you know, over time, I started to get more and more sales, and then Caitlin and I started the Planners Collaborative, and then we, we all know that story. This year, since staying home with my kids, I have started to treat my shop more like a business. And while that is a little scary for me because I'm not business oriented, it has allowed me to be able to stay home with my kids. And as the shop grew, if you've been with me from the beginning, y'all, you knew I had one little cutting machine and an old laptop, and I was downstairs in our office, and I was, I was making things happen. And since, you know, as time has gone by, my shop has gotten more and more busy, and I've needed more and more space, which as a result, I've moved up to a, a spare bedroom upstairs. And I've gotten now four machines and I have multiple desks that I work on. And it's it's been really good. It's been very good. It's 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 kept me busy. It's kept my mind, you know, engaged. It's kept that creative part of me that I used in teaching. But now I get to do it and stay at home with my kids. So all good things. Now, while I love my office and it's a great space for me, it's a good size. I have everything that I need up here. It's got storage because it is a spare bedroom. You know, yada yada. At times, it's very hard for me to have everything that I need 
all the time. Like if I want to lay out a bunch of stock or orders, I can't do that as easily because I don't have a ton of space. I'd have to pick up X, Y, or Z in order to do that. So what I want to do in my office is I have a closet. I want to remove everything from the closet, including my teaching supplies. And I want to turn that closet, take the doors off, and put some bookshelves in there and store paper, store envelopes, store supplies, um, store stock, because I have a section in my office where I have all of my stock. Um, and that will free up some table space. Um, and then the second thing that I want to do is I want to make my office, while it is functional right now, I would like to make it a pretty place. Um, I really struggle with um, decorating and, and finding purpose in that. I'm a very purpose-driven person. But I found that I spent a lot of time up in my office and I wanted I want to be in a comfortable space. You know what I mean? Like I want to be in a place that I come in and it's like uh, my my happy place, a place that I want to be in, a place that you know I look at and I'm proud of and brings me joy. So that is what the whole story from last week was about. In order for me to get to that point, I have to remove my teaching stuff. Um, just store it. You know, I'm not going to get rid of it all together. And then we're going to paint the closet, etc, etc, etc. I will, you know, I don't want to say that like, I'll take you along in that process because I don't know if I'm going to, you know, spend a lot of time sharing that. I considered once I had um, my new camera, like kind of vlogging it, but I just don't know the time table of that project. Um, Joe has helped me with a little bit of it, and we'll see. We'll see. If you're interested in like seeing that, maybe I'll do something on stories. Um, I just, I just don't know. I'm open to it, but I don't know if I, if I want to do that 100%. So. As you can see, friends, I'm just trying, I'm wrapping up here, putting some of these deco pieces down along the bottom in between each of the columns for a little interest. Let me tell you what I put on the second half of the week while I was just talking your ear off. This is for our Thursday story time. This is for when my kids are with my parents. I left Saturday and Sunday kind of open originally, and then I realized I forgot a to-do list. This is for filming. I'd like to film multiple times next week just to try and get ahead. Um, perhaps my bullet journal, we'll see. Um, but that is the final spread. Let me open it up and you can take a look. All right, friends, so this is the final spread for next week. I do really like how it turned out. I'm hoping throughout the week I'll be able to fill in some of these um, larger spaces. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wait these out here just to prepare. Let me show you what I have left from my leftovers. I have this sheet. I think the only thing that I would want to lay down is the weekend banner there. So it just has some deco and some date dots. I have some of the washi strips still left. I have one weekly box. I have a little bit of icons and a couple of checklist flags and some miscellaneous boxes. I'll definitely save that. And then I have the headers and little things page left. All right, my friends, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. I would certainly, certainly appreciate that. And of course, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, night, whenever you watch this video, and I'm sure we will chat soon. Bye-bye.